Hi everybody, I'm going to demonstrate why we live on a motionless plane and not a spinning ball. Here is the Earth. Here is your North Pole, South Pole. Center or core of the uh, Earth is supposedly where gravity is pulling all things to the surface, dictating that no matter where you're at, you should be plumb. Anybody that believes in the Earth being a ball can agree with this. We got a man standing right here. He's standing straight up, plumb. Doesn't matter what you use. Flagpole, building, anybody that does construction can tell you that things are built plumb or level. The only problem with this, and people say, well, Gravity is holding us to the to the spinning ball uh, because if it wasn't for gravity, centrifugal force would be we'd be whipping us right off the ball. Okay, big problem with this. Here's the equator. This theory works just great if you're standing like right here. Most people aren't standing right on the equator. Okay, say you're in North America where this guy here here is you have centrifugal force that pulls at a 90 degree angle from the center axis of any spinning ball 90 degrees both directions in a circle centrifugal force is pulling everything away from this anybody that has spun a ball, a basketball, anything can understand this concept the problem with gravity theory is that it works here and here only because when you come up here guess what you've got the centrifugal force that is pulling in this direction and it doesn't matter if you're standing here or over here it doesn't matter centrifugal force is going to be pulling you this direction while gravity is pulling you this direction shouldn't you be feeling this odd pulling effect especially since at the equator we are supposedly at a thousand miles per hour that's over 200 miles an hour faster than the speed of sound. I don't care how big you think the ball is, that is extremely fast spin. And you should be feeling it, especially when it is not pulling in the direction of your centrifugal force. Hot air balloon, same thing. It's going to be plumb with the supposed gravity, which is really density. Gravity does not exist, and this proves it right here. Why isn't this balloon, if it's supposedly being pulled down by gravity and centrifugal force at the same time, why is it not leaning and pulling to the side this direction? Even better demonstration is why isn't the water up here with centrifugal force being pulled this way? when gravity is pulling supposedly this way. Use your mind, use your eyes, and realize you've been fed a load of crap. Thank you for watching. Fuck off, Shell. The Earth is flat. Only the propeller on the cap of globe heads with PhDs will remain spinning after this video. Just a matter of pennies successfully spun our wheel.
Do you even know how many that is? The hell? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 27 Centrifugal force acts immediately before a single revolution is completed. You lost a bunch. How do we know how many you lost? Awesome. <laughs> that one definitely counts. That's the only one that counts. <laughs> um, that, that many, thanks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You count the one I just did? Yeah. Alright. 20. That's a good amount. Of pennies successfully spun in a bike tire. Goat blood drinking, green ass gas religion preachers, would have you believe that a fly, on the outer edge of the spinning bike tire, would not notice it was moving. Globe heads say, you can play ping pong in a jet plane, but let's see what happens if on the outside. something very few people had ever accomplished. Jim Bailey sacrificed everything to accomplish what he did. Playtime is over. Now we are really going to get the batshit crazy Looney Tunes globe heads to rip out their hair with both hands as we uncover their bullshit angular velocity. Globeheads say, you can't feel Earth spin. 
because it takes 24 hours to complete a single turn. How many times an object spins in a set amount of time has nothing to do with its speed or velocity. Galileo defined speed as distance traveled per unit time, as in miles per hour or mph. Globe heads refer to Earth's decimal 00069 revolutions per minute or RPM as speed. They love to refer to Earth's RPM as angular velocity. But this is just another term for RPM. We will destroy the globe heads with an onion, an orange, a slice of pizza, and an amusement park ride. The center of fake globe has the slowest speed, exactly like the hour hand on your watch. The speed at the equator on the surface of fake globe is 1,000 miles per hour or 5 football fields per second. Our RPM is the same at every point. It tells you nothing about speed. Our RPM is a useless parameter. As the onion rings get bigger, more distance is traveled in the same amount of time. Angular velocity is just a descriptive term for the wedge shapes formed by partial revolutions. This slice of pizza represents a partial revolution of the hour hand on a watch as it goes from two o'clock to four o'clock. Since all points on the hour hand travel together, the point furthest away from the center, represented by the crust, goes faster than any other point because it covers the greatest distance. The slice is a pepperoni. On this lovely pepperoni and cheese pizza, have the same radius as a watch. The radius of a watch is less than one inch. The distance between two and four o'clock is less than one inch. Therefore, it would seem to take forever to move along the outer edge. If a typical pepperoni watch. This is also the case at or near the center of fake globe Earth, but not at the outer edge. This pepperoni and cheese pizza slice depicts a partial revolution of fake globe Earth. The outer edge of the crust represents the distance traveled along the equator after one and a half hours. The equatorial radius of fake globe Earth is almost 4,000 miles. And the distance traveled in this example is about 3,000 miles along the outer edge. In order for a point on the equator of fake globe Earth to keep up with a point on the hour hand, it must travel over 1,000 miles per hour all day, every day. You would definitely notice if you were riding on a giant hour hand traveling over 1,000 miles per hour that is equivalent to 5 football fields per second, 24 hours a day, 
every day for life. It gets worse for globe heads when we discuss fake geostationary satellites. They are much further away from the center of fake globe Earth than the surface of the equator. Fake geostationary satellites travel at 30 football fields per second in order to keep pace with the hour hand of a watch or fake globe Earth's rotation. That's almost 7,000 miles per hour. But you would feel perfectly still. According to the globe head religion. Fly Earth is a runaway train. Nothing can stop it. Bad shit crazy Looney Tunes globe heads are filling the insane asylums as all the dominoes of their religion have now fallen. Rockets and jet planes fly by pushing off of the atmosphere. Jet planes burn fuel to turn turbines to compress air and blow it out the back of the engine. Rockets use the expanding gases of combustion directly through a cone-shaped nozzle.